Everything Guitar Episode 2. I'm your host, Ben France. This is a weekly dive into the world of the guitar. In this weekly series, which premieres at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is uh, GMT minus five hours on a weekly basis, you can expect a deep dive into the current world of the guitar, what's going on with it. Segments will include things such as a new segment, talking about maybe new product releases. That could be new guitars, new amplifiers, new effects, new plugins, anything related to a guitar that's a physical product. Could also be news related to a guitar player or a music release or a tour or something like that. If it's related to the guitar, I will try to fit it into the news section of this series. Additionally, every week we're going to have what I'm calling a mini guitar lesson, which is kind of a lesson covering some basic information on the guitar. If you are new to the guitar, these lessons are designed for you. As we get deeper into the series, the lessons will become more advanced. So even if you've been playing for a while, stay tuned because there will be some useful things for you as well. Uh, also, there is a segment every week where we feature called Me and My Guitar, where it covers a guitar, maybe one of my guitars, or it may be another player, whether it's someone out there on YouTube or someone on Instagram or something like that, where we talk about one of their guitars, talk about the history of that guitar, talk about what it means to them or what it means to me if it's one of my guitars. So if you'd like to be featured on Me and My Guitar, don't hesitate to hit me up, send me a message or comment on this video, and I would love to get a picture of your guitar or you with your guitar and a little bit of a story on that. Also, we'll be talking a little bit on some mental focus training as this series unfolds as well. As I'm sure you know, practicing guitar is not just a physical task, it is also a mental task as well. This supercomputer you have in your head called a brain is something that controls pretty much every facet of your life. So we'll talk a little bit as we get deeper into the series on how to train this to make these, your fingers, do a better job of communicating through this, your guitar. Uh, also, we'll have probably a featured player going forward in the future every week, and maybe someone that's a more well-known player where I do a deep dive into their back catalog, or maybe a new up-and-coming player where I introduce you to someone maybe you're not familiar with, uh, just wanting to get some exposure, wanting to get some recognition out there to some players that I think are incredible musicians out there in the world, whether they are a large worldwide known name or not. So, that is what you can expect from Everything Guitar. Uh, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. You can click the subscribe button down there below. I believe it's over here somewhere in this region. Also, if you want to ring the bell for notifications, ding, 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 that would be awesome. So you'll know when new videos release. Even though I do Everything Guitar once a week on Wednesdays, I am going to be releasing videos uh, in between those weeklies as well that may be some original music content, maybe more specific, longer format lessons, could be a number of things, so make sure to ring the bell for notifications. And if you find this video helpful, useful, informative, entertaining, anything like that, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be awesome as well. So let's dive into episode two. So starting out with the news for this week, let's talk about a new music release. Today we're talking about the new release from the UK progressive metal band Hawken. Their new release Virus is coming out in early July of this year and they just recently dropped a three track teaser on all of these streaming platforms. Uh, you'll see on the screen here, uh, this is Virus and it tells you a little bit about this, a little bit about the background on this and has you, gives you the track list for Virus. Uh, these six gentlemen here are the members that comprise the band Hawken. And you see that there's a little bit of a backstory on this, talking about the story regarding uh, where this album came from and the concept of this album came from. Uh, it does also mention here that Adam Nolly Get Good is the mixer on this. And if you don't know who Nolly is, definitely you need to be very aware of him. If you're remotely into heavier rock, metal, progressive metal, anything like that, he is a force to be reckoned with. He was previously the bass player in Periphery. He also is one of the proprietors that started Get Good Drums, which is highly recommended. They are the uh, drum sample instrument of choice for me. So let's check out a little bit here of uh, some audio samples for Virus. Now, hopefully this video won't be taken down for copyright infringement, but I want to play you just a little snippet of the song Prosthetic, one of the three songs that was released last Friday. And uh, this is a riff that comes in about 2 minutes and 50 seconds, as you'll see, and this is just a massively epic riff. So, so here you go, let's take a listen to that. So 
as you can hear, that's a pretty awesome, pretty cool, uh, very progressive sounding metal type of riff. Harkens maybe a little bit to a little bit of Dream Theater-esque type of sound, which I am completely cool with. So make sure to check that out. You can find them, as you see here on the screen, at hawkinmusic.com. Uh, you can also find them, of course, on all the social media platforms as well. And I always want to give a reminder that while it's awesome to stream musicians and bands' music, if you do not know this, in today's climate, musicians do not really make money off of streaming. So if you like what you hear here, I would highly encourage you buy the physical product, buy a copy of the album, buy some merch from the band. Of course, see them when they're on tour once touring becomes a thing again. Obviously, it's kind of been a weird space in the world right now in 2020. But once that happens, see them, but support your musicians and not just by streaming them. Uh, because if you like music, if you like a band like Hawken or any other band out there, and you want them to continue making music, they have to be able to support that financially. So while streaming is awesome, if you can buy some physical merch from them, I'm sure that would be well beyond appreciated. So there you go, Hawk and Virus. Look for the whole album to drop in early July. And check out those three songs that are streaming right now on all of the major streaming platforms. The featured product for this week is the Walrus Audio Ages 5 State Overdrive. You'll see this is a $199 overdrive pedal, as you see on the screenshot here, which is kind of a middle of the road price. And it's not the cheapest thing you're gonna get, but it's not a, a uber expensive pedal. I found that that's kind of the case with a lot of Walrus Audio products is that they cover a lot of very cool sonic territory for a very reasonable price. Not what I would call cheap, but not extremely expensive either. So you see here looking on the screen that with the Aegis 5 State Overdrive, it's got a lot of your traditional controls. You have your volume and your gain controls you'd expect, your bass and your treble control. The two middle knobs may catch your attention though. First off, there is a dry knob. What that allows you to do is actually bring in some of your dry signal along with the overdriven gain signal as well. It gives you a lot of flexibility in the tones of this guy. Additionally, you'll see there's the mode that has one through five in Roman numerals. Those are five different modes of overdrive and gain that you can get. We'll scroll down the screen here so you can see that. And it talks about the five position rotary knob offers the, fo offers the following gain stages. Low gain mode with symmetric soft clipping. Low gain mode with symmetric LED soft, clip soft clipping. A high gain mode with symmetric silicon soft clipping. A high gain mode with symmetric LED soft clipping and a high gain mode with symmetric silicon hard clipping. So let's check out a little bit of some sound clips on this guy. We're not going to watch the whole video. You can always go to walrusaudio.com and go through products and check this out. But I want to give you just an idea of some of the sounds you can get out of this. So start out, let's listen to one of kind of more of the lower drive settings. Jump ahead just a little bit here to where we see that there are the modes. I believe he's going to be right about here. So here we go, let's check out some of the modes. We'll listen to just a couple of them. So there's mode one, your low gain mode. Let's jump up here and see if we can find mode five as the high gain so you can get kind of an idea of the range you get out of it. Okay, here's mode five for us. You'll probably recognize this riff on mode five if you've been into rock music in the past. Uh, 18 years or so. So there you go, the Walrus Audio uh, Ages 5-stage overdrive pedal. Pretty cool looking, it's got some very interesting sounds to it, and you can find it by going directly to walrusaudio.com and going to the products page. They also have it right now where I believe it's directly linked on their homepage, we'll go back there. So if you look right here, you see the Age of 5-stage overdrive, you can just click on explore and go from there, but definitely check that out. They make some seriously cool, high quality pedals. So let's talk about the uh, guitar lesson for this week. Last week in episode one of Everything Guitar, we covered the major scale, the C major scale. You can click the link right up here and check that out. Uh, this week, we're gonna continue on our journey of scales by learning the companion to the major scale, which is the natural minor scale. This is also known 
as just the minor scale or known as the Aeolian mode, which is the sixth mode in the of the seven uh, modes of the major scale. So there is a specific formula that we use in order to construct a minor scale. It is a whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. What does that mean? Well, if you've been playing guitar for a little while, you know obviously that the difference between a whole step and half step is a whole step jumps two frets, like a C to a D there, for instance, and a half step jumps one fret, like C to C sharp. So, following that pattern that we have then on the minor scale, what we then have then is whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. So, C, D, D sharp, F, G, G sharp, B, A sharp or B flat, and then C back again. So that's played across one string. Now playing it across multiple strings in the first position would look something like this in the most common fingering. Another way you could play that, that's a little more of a stretch, is starting with your second finger on your C and then only playing two notes on the fifth string. So that would look like this. If you're like me and you have smaller hands, that's a little bit of a stretch, but it can be done. However, starting here is probably a little bit easier to play, especially if you're just starting out. higher would look like this. So that is the natural minor scale, also known as the Aeolian mode or the just the straight minor scale. The reason we call it the natural minor is because that sixth is a natural sixth. There also are things such as a harmonic minor scale that has a raised sixth and a melodic minor scale, which is a totally different animal. We'll cover both of those later on down the road. But natural minor scale, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. In the key of C, notes, C, D, E sharp, F, G, flat C. Live it, learn it, love it. week I thought I'd do something different for the second week and I would feature not one of my electrics but an acoustic. Uh, this is my Taylor 110 CE. This is a lesser expensive Taylor uh, acoustic. It's actually an acoustic electric. You'll notice the controls there on the front of it. Uh, however, this is a beautiful acoustic guitar. I've owned this guitar since new in 2007. At the time I wanted something that was kind of a brighter guitar that would cut through a little bit cleaner which this does in a mix and it is just a wonderful playing guitar. What have I done to it? Honestly, it's an acoustic guitar, not really anything. I did replace the bridge pins with uh, some Taylor bridge pins that are an ebony bridge pin, so they're a little bit nicer than the plastic ones that came with it. Otherwise, it is as it says. And what does it sound like? It sounds pretty good, I would say. We'll see how it picks it up with the mics here, but I'll give you a little taste of it.
there you go. Not real in depth this week, but that is my Taylor 110 CE, my go-to acoustic guitar. Uh, tune in next week for me and my guitar where we'll go a little more in depth on one of my electrics. Or, who knows, maybe we'll feature one of your guitars. That's all up to you on sending me pictures and stories of your guitar. So that is it for Everything Guitars, Episode 2. I hope you got something useful and or entertaining out of this episode. Uh, next week, what we'll have coming up is some more of the same. We're always going to have some of the same core features like you saw this week. Core segments like the new section, the mini lesson, the me and my guitar section. Uh, we may have some new stuff, though, re regarding a featured player, or we may even dive into some of that uh, mental training that we talked about previously. So once again, I would love it if you would click the subscribe button down here, ring the bell, ding a ding a ding for notifications, and if you want to give me a thumbs up or two... Uh, don't do two, because if you give me a thumbs up, then you give me a second one, this one just disappears. And if you want to give me one of those, your call. Otherwise, I hope this was a useful video for you. Thank you all for tuning in. I do also give guitar lessons online remotely. Right now in the time of COVID-19, obviously, it's kind of hard to do lessons in person. But I can do lessons via Skype, via uh, FaceTime, or Zoom. So if you're interested in something like that, like learning guitar lessons, learning guitar, learning some basics, or getting a little more advanced with your theory knowledge, that sort of thing, feel free to let me know. Reach out to me. Like I said, you can comment on this video, or you can always send me an email directly. It's just benjaminfrancemusic at gmail.com. Additionally, if you want to check out my other social media channels, I am very active on Instagram. Just search for Benjamin France Music. Also, I have a Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash music. And you can search all of the major streaming platforms to find some of my original music on there as well, just under Benjamin France. And look for the goatee, which I believe is probably blue in the time of the pictures that we're taking on my artist pages. So I hope that everybody is having a great week so far. I hope you have an awesome evening. And thanks again for tuning in. Take care, everyone. Bye. as of right here. Kumo, be quiet. Edit, pause, 10 minutes and 19 seconds. Okay, cut edit 10 minutes 44 seconds.